Hey there, welcome to Caffeinated Crafting. My name is Daniela, I know it's Caffeinated Gert around the interwebs. It is Friday, March 16th. We had a tiger there. Let's hope he's just, you know, gonna keep it cool and not be all noisy-fied today. Um, you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Caffeinated Gert. Um, those are my social media of choice. And here, let me make this go away. There. <laughs> I hate it when I have messages pop up. It is, it's distracting. Because um, I record with my phone. But anyway, so today I am going to go through my whips and kind of discuss some plans I have. Um, I made a decision about a couple of things. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I have one finished object. Um, and we'll just, um, uh, what are we doing on the table? What are you doing? Yes, I love you too. Can you come over here and sit? Why don't you come over here and sit? I opened a window for you. Can we do that? Ah, he has been so needy. Do you want to say hi? Look. Say hi. Can we say hi? Hi, tiger. He says, I'm just a needy, needy boy. I need all the loving on, all the time. You want to come sit in my lap? All right. Can we lay down? Down? Okay. Now, pistachio, pistachio has been loving the, when, it's, when it's nice. So, we had snow last Thursday. Then it was nice over the weekend. And then Monday and Tuesday, we had flurries again. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, March? Um, but so when it has been nice enough, I've been opening a window for them and there's seating for them so they can hang out and look out the window. Tiger has not been outside in a week. He's about to go stir crazy, but we are trying to turn him into an indoor cat. I don't like for him to be outside. Um, last time he was out, he came in hurt. Um, he must have gotten into a scrape with something. I don't, I'm not sure. And he's fine. He just had a bit of a scab and he's healing and whatnot. But I'm trying to convince him it's good to stay inside. <laughs> Can you lay down, please, Mr. Mister Pokey Toes? Can you lay down, please? Thank you. All right, so my only finished object this week are these little socks. This is the Yin Yang Kitty Ankle Sock Pattern. Um, and I modified these to fit an eight or nine year old. Um, they, or was it the kid eight or nine years old? Or the size, the shoe size was eight, eight or nine in kids. Okay, come on, come on, come over here. Come on. If you're going to be on the table, you're in the way. You can be in my lap or you can be in the chair. Thank you. Can you get off the, get off the, you know you're not supposed to be on the table. Come on, come over here. Come on, over here. Come on, you can do it. He knows you're not supposed to be on the table. Come on. Good kitty. There you go. Look out the window with pistachio. See, look at them. Aren't they cute there? Look. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, um... Yin Yang Kitty Ankle Socks. And so what I did, so I looked up sizing and of course, I think, I really hope these fit. Um, so what I did is I, instead of 64 stitches around, I did 50 and then I did the length to um, 6 inches. I think is what the measurement said for um, that size shoe. So... These are getting delivered today, which is why I'm making, um, doing a quick podcast so I could show them to you before they get delivered. They're cute. This is my third pair of these and probably my last, at least for a while. I'm not one to normally, um, repeat knit, um, but, um, actually the last pair and this pair are both commission knits, so... Uh, and that's not something I normally do either. I really have to like you if I'm going to knit for you. <laughs> but um, this lady is very nice. So I did. She And she asked nicely. And she's super excited about the knit. So you can't really, you know, you can't go wrong with that. 
Okay, so that's my only finished object. I got a whole lot of knitting done on my blanket over the last couple of weeks. Um, I think I've added like 30 squares. Um, I'm not going to show it to you today. It's kind of an ongoing thing. I think I'm about a quarter of the way done at this point. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> um, and we talked about, or I talked about last time, about organizing all my mini skeins and all that. So you just got a load of that. And I've added, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 squares. I added like 15 last weekend. It was square dancing weekend for Illa Morning. And I really had the urge to work on them the week before. So it's growing and that's exciting. But anyway, yesterday I cast on a new project. Um, it's in my Whimsy Stitches camper bag. This is one of my favorite bags ever. It's probably, the, I think maybe the second bag I ever bought from Rick. The first one was the this one. This is the first one I ever got. Um, and I, I like it quite a, quite a lot also, but I just love this one. I love the, the pattern, the way that the fabric just worked perfectly as the panel for the bag. It's a perfect size. I use it all the time. It's probably my most used bag, I think. You know, it's almost always in rotation. <clears throat> anyway, in it, I have, um, a skein of Yowza from Miss Babs. In the deep sea jellyfish colorway is that not amazing um, and I am knitting here I'll show you the yowza yowza what a skein oh well you can't see that because the staple went through it so I can smooth that down a little bit it's, it's y-o-w-z-a yowza <clears throat> from Miss Babs um, and I am knitting, this is a free pattern from Manos del Uruguay, it's Escama del Dragon Cow, and it's a dragon cow. And here's a not very good picture because it's black and white. <clears throat> it kind of mimics um, dragon scales. Oh, here's an up close. Here you go. Um... I'm knitting this in conjunction with Ilver Morney. We've started a scroll and quill club where we are listening to The Crystal Cave by Mary Stewart and knitting something inspired by that book. <clears throat> and so I decided, Merlin, there's dragons. And anyway, so I am knitting a dragony, huge, humongous cowl. So... Here's what it's looking like. I've just barely got it started. I really like how it's looking though. I've been dying to knit this with this yarn. It's been in the stash for a while and I haven't found the correct or what I felt like the best project for it. And I think this is going to be really good. Um, my project for Elmo Morning has to be 450 yards and Yowza is 560 yards. This cow only calls for 300 yards. So I've posed the question because in some of the classes you're able to knit <clears throat> um, multiple projects and then for them to equal up the required yardage. So um, if I can do multiple pro projects, then I'm going to pull from the other end of the skein and knit a hat and then use what's left for the cowl and I'll be able to get both out of that yardage. <clears throat> And if it has to be all one project, this is going to be a massive cowl. It's long enough that it's one of those big loops and then you can double it kind of deals. So it's just going to be ginormously honking if it's if I have to use 450 yards for this project. I will keep you posted. We will see what happens. So far, I barely started it at knit night yesterday. And it's a joy to knit because it's a super easy pattern. I like... It's a four row repeat, easy to memorize, but entertaining in that you do have to do a little something. And that is like my favorite, most perfect type of project where I can not have to look at the pattern, but I'm entertained. So there's that. 
Um, yesterday also I cast on um, a pair of socks. This is um, my very first Whimsy Stitches bag. And in here I have Neely's Knits. This is Brown Bear Brown Bear. Um, it's leftovers that I have from, um, I, have, I have two so there's plenty, um, from when I knit the Brown Bear Brown Bear socks for my husband and my son. <clears throat> I'm going to knit myself some little short socks. And the reason I cast these on yesterday is because my friend Liz got her fingers on some of these Addy Crazy Trio. These little these need these sock needles that are like this. And she brought them to knitting and she got size one, two, and three. She brought them to knitting and she's not really been knitting that much, but she got her fingers on these, so yay. And I was like, well, let me know what you think when you knit with them because I'm, I'm very curious. And so she told me I could just take a pair with me and borrow them and um, try them out myself. So um, that was really sweet of her. And so in order to try them out, I cast on a sock. This is just going to be a short Rose City Roller as per what I need for my sock door. <laughs> and... Um, it took a little getting used, it's, it's taking a little getting used to, but I mean, I've only knit two, four, five, five, six rows. Um, some rows seem better than others. I think it's a matter of, and I, I'm going to have to keep playing with this as I'm knitting and thinking about it. I think it's a matter of how the stitches are laying on the needle you're not working with like to keep it out of the way um, it's not bad it's nothing like um, those plastic needles that are shaped like this I got a pair and tried them out and hated them because they're really floppy but then these are Addy so you know they're metal they're not floppy at all the only flop is the little wire the little cable in here um, it's interesting because they have two different ends each each of each of the needles has two different ends. Um, let me see if I can hold it up so you can see it. One is a lace tip and one is a regular tip. So one side is more pointed than the other. Can you see that? This is the more pointed one. This is the more dull one. And of course, I like a pointy needle, so I'm I'm knitting with the pointy side. Um, so. Um, I have found that if I have my other needle, um, the yarn kind of bunched in the middle and kind of trying to face face away from me, then, and then this one kind of trying to face it towards me, which is really not, I know it's not really working for me here. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not bad. But I think it will take a little getting used to. And I don't know that I like it well enough to get my own. The thing I do like that is that it's on a short little cable. And it's handy. Oh, you're not seeing this. Um, and it's handy in that um, it takes up less space, obviously. I like that there's two different tips. Although a needle this size, what would you use it for other than socks or I mean if you get the bigger sizes I guess you could do hats with it but I like the longer cable for a hat or just you know um, one that's either short enough that you can just go around and around and around on the hat or um, or I use two cirques and on my socks I usually do two cirques um, so I don't know I'm going to knit the socks with it and see what I think by the end of that. It takes a little getting used to, but like I said, um, I kind of like it. I think if you don't already have sock needles and you want to give socks a go, it might be good. For someone like me that already has a bunch of sock needles, I don't know that it's worth bothering with. I'm not sure. Haven't decided. I will let you know. So, <clears throat> these are, she ordered them from Germany. I really don't know what she paid for them or anything. Hey, and Addies are made in Germany since 1829. That's a long time. Um, anyway, so, that's what's in here. 
just barely started last night because I was curious about the needles. All right, let's talk about this next. Um, in my fringe supply company bag, I have my mystery knit along that I haven't worked on in forever because I've been trying to decide what to do about it. Um, and I have now decided, so I will let you know what I'm doing. So let me pull out all my little yarns. Here is what we have. And the reason I was very iffy about what to do is because the motif in this color, this section ended up really not showing up at all because my yarn color was white and I didn't realize how light this, this variegated Nora was going just right. It's just bad timing for the yarn choice. So what I've decided is I'm going to frog back and do the color work instead of with white, I'm going to use this color. So I'm going to introduce a fourth skein of color. And then if it's at a point where this works, I'll use this. And if it's at a point where the white works, I'll use the white um, as I go through the knit. Um, I'm just was not happy with this because you can't see the motif at all. And that's a whole lot of work to get no result. <laughs> right um <clears throat> so i am i'm excited and happy that i have a plan and i can now that i've thought about it and found what i think is good a good choice in color that was one thing i was like what i don't have anything that will work with this but then i spotted this and i was like yes that that will work nicely so then this can move forward the Knit along, the, it's like completely over. Everyone has knitted at this point, or is finished, I'm sure, but me, because that's how I roll. But it is called, well, uh, where's my first page? Where is it? Clue three, clue one, info sheet, slip knit love. <laughs> there it is. It's um, slip knit love <clears throat> by Lisa Haynes, who is Malia Designs. So here is the the designer's name, and it's slip knit love. I've seen finished ones, and it's they're absolutely beautiful. So I'm um happy that I'll get to start working on mine again. Um, <clears throat> I, um, <laughs> in my stashing through the snow, which is still appropriate, we had snow this week. What the crap? <clears throat> but my bag is from Bags by Terry. This bag is from Bags by Terry. Um, in it, I have my, um, my Granito by Hoey Locatelli. And here's a really bad picture of it. But green, you know, you can see the name and it's from Hoey. Um, and I am striping mine. Now I haven't worked on mine because I had the sneaky suspicion that maybe it won't fit. You just, haven't you ever knit a garment and you're like, yeah, I don't know if I should work on this anymore. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Should I keep working? Should I not? Should I, should I, should I not? I finally tried it on and it fits beautifully. So I'm excited to get back to that. Um, here is where we are. This is what the col current color. Um, it's Oloops. The colorway is Hogwarts will always be my home. I hope you're not hearing Tiger have his huge meow meow fit out there. Um, I have multiple needles in this in the round at this point because I needed the extra room to be able to try it off on and not get it off the needles. And here is what we have. So this will get some love soon-ish. And we'll see where it goes. I need to take some of these needles out. But when, when next time, next round I knit, I'll get rid of some of those needles. Because <laughs> that's a little ridiculous. There's like three or four sets. Um, so that's what in my it's in my stashing through the snow bag. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> ah, this is my pearl break, which has gotten just a tiny bit of love, but it really needs to get some attention. It's pearl break by 
Stephen West, uh, West Knits, Mr. Awesome Sauce. Um, he is just the bomb. But in here I have, um, is it Full Moon Rising? Full Moon. Just Full Moon. And by Moon Holler, who's sadly no longer dying. And I have Hibiscus from Orange Jellyfish Dream. And here is what we've got going on. I really like this. It needs more love. I just need more time. Um, time would be great. More time to knit would be so great, right? Um, but this is my last class project for Ilver Morning. So this has got to get done by June. So plenty of time. Oh, I forgot to mention. I was going to mention it when I mentioned the dragon cow. Um, anyway, so this, I'll, I'll, I will remember. This is in a bag that I made. So it's the yeah. patchwork of some, some leftover pieces and such. Let's see what else we got. We have Sam's socks that I was going to work on at knitting last night, but I forgot my sock ruler. And if you don't have a sock ruler, get you one because they're the bomb. And I am at the point where I need to start kind of paying attention to the size, the length. Look, you can stick your sock ruler in there. Fits perfectly into the heel and you can measure very nicely how long your foot is. Or leg if you're doing it the other way. I mean, you can, it works either way, but mine is top down. Um, so I want to get these off the needle, so these are probably what I will work on today, maybe. Actually, maybe I should frog back my Slip Knit Love today because, oh, well, let me just put my patterns back in my bags. Here's my pearl break. I didn't put that back in the bag. Here's my granito. I didn't put that back in the bag either. And maybe I will frog bag my slip knit love today because I'll be home and I'll be able to pay attention. Oh no, now I I got my yarn stuck in the zipper. Okay, I hope that took care of it. Oh. Okay, well I'll have to fix that later. Um, And then I think I'll take these to, to um, we have our Fiber Artist Meetup, our local Fiber Artist. We used to call it Sock Club, but now it's Cookable Fiber Artist. So we have our CFA Meetup tomorrow, and I think I'll take these to work on because they're, they'll be easy knitting, and I can um, hopefully get them done. I'm trying to get a few things off the needles, and it's in my awesome fat squirrel bag from SSK back in 2014. Let's see, that has nothing in it, except some, some stitch markers. In my um, Star Wars bag by Good Stuff's Crafts. Yes, we hear you, Tiger. I've got a sock blank from Ninja Chickens. And I haven't worked on these in a while. I'm kind of saving them for when I need some vanilla socks. Um, the sock blank is beautiful and I am just knitting vanilla socks. Um, let me put a marker in to kind of show where I am though. So that way, if I do make some progress, we'll know. I hope Tiger's not driving you insane. I hope you can't hear him. I am just past the heel, so I am ready to knit on the foot. I'm kind of keeping this around in, in case um, we decide to go to the movies because then this is something I can knit in the dark at the movies. So I haven't worked on it any to, so I can make sure um, I have something handy and ready to go. Plus there's no hurry on these. Um, I kind of wish I'd started shorty socks. So, but they might end up being um, a gift from my mother. We will see. Since they're taller and I want short socks, I don't I don't need any more. 
I don't need more tall socks. I need short socks because I am not likely to wear tall socks even in the winter time unless I'm wearing leggings. So it's one of those things. I have learned that I don't wear them so I should stop knitting them for myself. Yeah. I enjoy knitting tall socks though. So I knit them as gifts and that's just fine. All right, let me put this bag back down here. And the last thing on the needle. Okay, well, there's one more thing on the needles. I have my um, boxy that I'm re-knitting in a bag over there, but I haven't worked on it. So, and I haven't worked on it since I frogged it back to work on it. So it's just kind of over there. It'll get worked on at some point. In this bag here. I have the very, very beginning of a, um, uh, what's it called? Matt, um, Stephen West did the Magic Mystery Shawl, and this is the sweater version. Um, so it's barely started and it's there. So I have two sweaters on the needles that have not got, been touched in months. And I'm not going to show you those because... They look exactly the same as they have last time I showed them to you. No change at all. And I don't have any plans to pick those up anytime soon. They will get finished at some point this year. But the things I'm showing you today are the things that I'm trying to kind of get done. Um, <clears throat> so I was um, lucky enough to test knit for Megan um, of the Stockin' It Zombies. She's just run knit on Ravelry and Instagram and these are the Luck Lux. So I finished one sock and it they've got little um, clovers on them. They're like magic for for March. Aren't they cute? They're super thick because I mean they're they're a DK weight sock so they're super thick and I didn't I thought I picked DK yarn and after I finished it and I was putting my information in Ravelry, I realized that I knit these with worsted yarn. So that's even a little thicker. Um, but my sister is in love with these. She saw a picture. So I need to knit the second one, which is in here. And then I think she'll get these either for her birthday or Christmas. The yarns I use, the purple is Purple Mystery by Malabrigo, Super Deep Dark Stash. And the green is from Twist Fiber Studio in the Chameleon colorway. Also fairly deep stash. It's her Haywood, Haywood Worsted. And so they are in a bag by... I think this is a Twist Fiber... No, this is a Falula bag from Stitch Marks the Spot. Falula bag. Um, it's a really nice pattern. The color work is easy. And because you're knitting you know, DK weight yarn, they go super fast. You just fly through these socks. All right, I did get a little stash enhancement. My dealer had crack for sale. <laughs> and I couldn't say no. So these are from Hobbledy Hoy. Let me... Okay, well, they're from, there's no, there's no tag tag. These are from Hobbledy Hoy, and there's three of these, and they're absolutely beautiful. I saw a picture on her Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, I need those. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to spin that. Can't wait. Maybe I'll frog back and get my Slip Knit Love back on track, and then I'll reward myself by spinning these. I love spinning these, like a quick and dirty spin, and it's so fun. All right, so the only other thing I have to talk about is Neon April is coming your way, folks. All the information is in the Ravelry thread um, regarding rules and whatnot, which there aren't many. Um, you can use whips, so go ahead and get started. And that was the reason I was going to mention it during my Dragon Cowl. Um, section because it does have neon it is neon it doesn't have to be completely neon um, but it does have some serious neon blips so I've got that started and I'll probably mostly work on that through April I got it started but I probably won't work on that 
um, for a couple of weeks while I finish up some other things. So run over to the Ravelry group and check that out and get all the information and get your neon yarn ready for April. Um, I think that's it. Catch you guys later. Bye.